Hello, welcome back to the shed. Look at this thing. Look at it, it's amazing. All uh, ready now. I just finished this morning, it's what, about 10 o'clock or something. I just finished uh, doing a bit of body filler at the back because I just remembered there are these holes right at the bottom of the guards at the back. But, so if you come over here, you'll see the paint set up here. We've got our primer thinner, a gun. This is an older gun here. Uh, I have a new one for the, that's for like the base coat and all that, because it's really nice and new, but for the primer, it doesn't really matter. This old one will uh, be good enough. Tack cloth, bit of wax and grease remover, and I have some more in there. Paint mixing buckets, and oh, it's already marked off. Um, and then I'm gonna get a hose in here, and I'm gonna wet the ground, because if you wet the ground, um, all the particles in the air, when they hit the ground, they'll stop and they won't come back up and get on the nice paint. But we're inside, obviously in the shed. Um, I'll probably close this door though, in case something so decides to blow in. Um, and this is just the primer. So it's not really super, super big. Uh, Cause after this, then there'll be a bit of time before I do the, the base coat. It's got to figure out everything. Um, and also the primer uh, also gives me a good indication of how much paint I'll need because it's the same amount of paint for the base coat and the primer. The primer's probably a bit more, uh, just cause I gotta fill a lot of holes. But yeah, after I spray this, I've got to um, see how it looks and then go for it. So uh, I've just got to uh, sand a couple bits where I've gone back to bare metal. I've had a bit of rust back on them, one from a few weeks ago. So I've just got to go along all of those really quick and then I'll be ready to paint. Okay, so a bit of change of plans. Um, I went and looked at how much primer I have and I only have two liters, which will only become three liters, I think, when I thin it out. So um, I'm now going to go get a bunch more um, primer. I'm getting two more liters of that primer, uh, which will hopefully become six liters. Because um, they say to thin it out 50-50, but I want to thin it out, people say to thin it out three to one to get more filler and stuff, which I probably will need. So that's where I'm going now. Got it painted in primer, looking pretty good. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna be that good as I was spraying it, but now it's actually all right. Um, I went pretty hard on this panel here and there's a few little runs, but they're just gonna come straight out with the uh, sandpaper. And there's a few little uh, bits of, that got stuck in the paint. So I'll make sure next time when I'm doing it, it's a bit better. But now I've just got to sand the entire thing back in 800, which is what I've done just here. The uh, bonnet's pretty coarse, but on the side here where I've done it is 800. And then I've also got to fix the body filler stuff up the top here, just with a flat sander. Got to block sand it up the top here so it's all smooth. Same as down in the bottom 
Um, down the bottom here, I forgot to do body filler all, like I forgot to sand the body filler all together, so it's still just messed up. But I've got the paint um, coming and the clear as well. I'm gonna try and do them both at the same time. I'm gonna go out and buy the clear, but I've got paint coming from a company. So yeah, I'm gonna do all this and I think I'm gonna do another little coat of primer in some of the places that I've sanded, just so it's all fully covered and then we'll be good to go, I guess. Big day, big day today. We're on the paint. We've got all the paint ready here in a nice, on, a, on the desk here. We've got a big thing of uh, white from hammer coating, uh, some juicer, clear coat, and then another little bit of white if we need that on top. It's obviously all been primed. Since then, I've uh, gone into the sanding process. Up the top here, I've cleaned it up and uh, actually made it look quite a bit better than it did. Block sanding it hard, and then on the rest of it, it's all down to 800 grit finish. I still have to wipe the whole thing down. I fixed up a lot of where I saw Sort of went bad at the start with the primer, obviously running and all that. Um, but I'm going to do really light coats today on the on the white because I should have enough, and in the clear the same. Uh, it was actually really sunny this morning, and I thought it'd be pretty good um, for heat, but it's not really. It's uh, sort of the clouds have come in. I have this little heater here that I'm going to try. I'm going to shut all the doors, just just try and sort of get it a bit warmer. Um, but apart from that, I've just got to wipe it down, everything's sanded, um, wipe the whole thing down and then start the, the painting process. Still smells pretty bad in here actually, to be honest with you. That, got a nice painting mask lines. See, all the paint has gone up into the roof and is gone now. So now that is our three coats done. It was an interesting experience, but it's done now. Not all the paint is on there, but it's uh, what I'm gonna do. It's all that I'm gonna do. There's a little bit there, um, just in case, maybe if I wanna do uh, the inside of the door jams, I decide to do that. There's three coats. Um, some of the places the coats aren't as thick. I couldn't quite reach to some places. It's all covered, but some parts are covered 
you know, I covered a bit more than others. Got in there and it was it was pretty good. Um, at the start, it was pretty bad, to be honest with you. It was uh, spraying out like it was Raptor coat almost. Um, the settings weren't great, but that was just on the first, that first coat. Um, I was able to fix it up later on. And the final coat was actually really nice. Um, I had a few, you know, learning things like um, that masking tape, that all of the sheets there has dried primer on it and that primer flakes off and gets onto the paint. It wasn't really all that bad because um, I was sort of actively spraying and it, it was sort of flying away and then it would get caught on the water on the ground. That's why you put the water on the ground so that that sort of stuff goes and, and sits on the ground. Um, it's about a thousand dollars, I think, this paint job is. And uh, you know, I would have my car sprayed in this, honestly. I, if I had my car looking like this, it'd be pretty good. Um, I'll show you around. It's very difficult to see on the camera. Um, it was even difficult to see the actual spraying process, which is, didn't, which is why I didn't like film the whole thing because it was just like hazy. You couldn't see anything. Um, but I got some on my phone, which is good. This is what's painted. So we come through here. Looks uh, all right where I fixed it up on the roof there. You know, it's not great, but it's not, uh, it's not horrible. Did learn some valuable lessons though. It's kind of hard to see with these lights, even though these lights are insanely bright and powerful. It is kind of, they're not painting lights really, like they're not like seeing real intense stuff, but they're uh, they're good. But it's, yeah, it's kind of hard to see all like what if it's actually good or not. It, you know, it's all right. This fender looks really nice. Um, I think it's painted quite a bit better um, just because the way that the coats worked out. One thing I would do though next time is I would just get more paint it's just a liter more I you know I didn't need it but it would just be nice it, it seems to get a much better finish and it is a bit more yellow than I thought it was like when I was spraying it out of the gun it looked like sandy taut seriously it did and even now it looks a bit um with the clear on it, it'll look good the only thing is it's going to look much different I think it's going to look quite a lot different to the door jams um which I wasn't expecting even though it's the same paint code, it might just, I don't know, I might just have to paint the door jams and inside of the doors. It is gonna look good though, when I put all of this stuff back over here on. These badges and stuff after I get the dust off them. And down there, the mirrors and the, uh, and the mud flaps and everything, all that will look really nice. And then obviously the roof tray on top will look awesome. Gotta get the clear on and um, just let this set. I'm probably gonna do the clear in the morning though, cause it's, it's not gonna set now, it's getting very cold. Um, the time of doing it was not thought out properly. Also, look at that. That's my phone camera. Lucky it's the zoom in lens, the zoom lens, which I don't use super often, but covered it in paint. All right, so it's not the next day, it's the day after, but I'm here ready to shoot clear out of the gun. Uh, the, uh, the paint is dry here. It's, uh, it's actually pretty nice, to be honest with you, seeing the whole car in, a, in the white, looking um, actually pretty good. The other side looks really nice. This side, not so much. The other side looks really, really nice though. Um, hopefully when the clear goes out, it'll actually look even better. But yeah, this side looks really awesome even without the clear. But obviously, even if had I had fish eyes and orange peel, it would have been better than the paint that was on there. But um, yeah, now I'm just gonna get the clear ready and shoot it out.
All right, so I finished uh, spraying the clear. Uh, it didn't go well at all. Um, basically, I didn't really have enough of it. And also I just sort of did a complete mind blank and I didn't really prep anything properly. So it sort of just got a bit dusty and everything. Um, so we'll maybe just sand it and uh, I'll have a look, but I've definitely got to do it again. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not great. It hasn't ruined like, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely do something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get, I'm also gonna try and get a different base, uh, different clear coat. Um, and I'll get like a bunch. Basically, it's uh, relatively done. It all has clear coat on it. It's just not, you know, it doesn't really look much different. Um, but to see with these lights, like it's still pretty hazy just because I haven't, just haven't put enough clear on it. But basically that's the uh, painting of the car done. Uh, I'm not gonna show redoing the clear coat. The next video I will, um, I might put in a few clips of just me quickly polishing it and then putting back all of the accessories and taking off all of the masking, whatnot. And then the next video will be actually getting into the interior. So I've got to go and get a windshield. Um, and I'm gonna do a bit of cleaning up, take everything off. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be getting into that stuff. So see you then.